Hey, I'm Satara Hewitt, and I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit about skin care today. So skin is so important to take care of because it's the body's largest organ. It's the body's first line of defense. And also, whenever things are kind of out of balance with the system, our skin is a way for our body to communicate that with us. So I really love to pay attention to skin health. So we're gonna go over some acne solutions, some eczema and psoriasis solutions, and I'll talk to you a little bit just about my general daily skincare routine. I like to keep it really natural for my skin because again, the skin's an organ, so whatever you're putting on there is gonna be absorbed into the system. So I love things like extra virgin coconut oil for moisturizing. I love a witch hazel for a toner. I'll use, just break off an aloe plant and slather that on my skin for healing, moisturizing, and anti-aging. Supplement wise, I like to make sure I'm taking enough moisturizing kinds of things like an omega fatty acid and that helps with inflammation too. I love silica and I also do things like collagen and that's really a good anti-aging secret for the skin. I like to take full days off makeup. That gives your skin a chance to breathe, get a little bit of sunlight and air and just give your skin a chance to detoxify and heal itself. Remember, your skin's always trying to work with you. When I remove my makeup, I'll do one of two things. I might just use a little extra virgin coconut oil, slather it all over my face, and then wipe it off with a soft cloth. I also use natural soaps like a charcoal-based or a chaga-based, just if I really want to get in there and clean it. So let's talk about acne. Acne is something that I have a lot of experience with. I suffered from serious cystic acne. Up until about a year ago, my face was just like painful with cystic acne but I fixed it all naturally. I didn't use any pharmaceuticals. So often when you have acne, it's your body telling you that there's a lot of toxins building up in the colon area. They're not being eliminated enough. There might be too much processed foods or chemical laden foods that are kind of sitting in the colon and your body's trying to get rid of them through the skin. I started with the colon cleanse, just some herbs that help to eliminate wastes, help the organs process some of those toxins and really get things moving. You get a flatter tummy too, which is kind of nice. As soon as I did the colon cleanse, my skin started to clear up. Now topically, I love raw organic apple cider vinegar. It's like amazing. You just put it on a pimple and it zaps it completely. I also made sure I made some dietary changes. So inflammatory foods had to be eliminated. I stopped eating gluten and that helped heal my gut. I eliminated chemicals and things like processed sugars. Alcohol, fried foods, they also, they kind of have to go. So when I made the dietary changes, I did the colon cleanse and I started using some topical things like witch hazel and apple cider vinegar and aloe. My acne completely cleared up. And the good thing is with those lifestyle changes, the acne doesn't come back, as you can see. So let's talk about psoriasis and eczema. Psoriasis and eczema seem like a skin condition, but they're often the body's way of saying that it's under stress in some way. So the first thing you wanna do is try to take down the stress levels in your life. So get more sleep, drink more pure water, try some relaxation techniques, get a little more exercise. Anything that oxygenates your system and helps you sleep better will actually help with things like eczema and psoriasis. Psoriasis and eczema also are inflammatory conditions, so making dietary changes are super helpful. Again, eliminating gluten, and there's lots of gluten-free options out there, and it's also kind of a fun way to explore healthy foods, like more fruits and vegetables, more soups and stews, nuts, seeds, avocados. Make sure you're getting those healthy fats because healthy fats help with inflammation. And side note, healthy fats keep you thin. So good fats are super key for good health. As far as topically, I love things like calendula, chamomile, you can take an oatmeal bath. And then to help reduce those stress levels, herbs like rhodiola, chamomile internally, hops, and skullcap. So just with a few dietary changes, lifestyle changes, you can really take control of helping your health be at its best, and then your skin will reflect that. And the cool thing about all these changes is, yes, it'll help heal your skin, but it'll also help you have better longevity, immunity, energy, and just feel good in all areas of your life. So show your skin a little love, and it'll definitely love you back. If you want to learn some more healthy skin tips, check us out on bellwellness.com.